in the previous video we saw what are build steps wherein we, we understood uh, multiple build steps can be configured and if any of the any one of the build step fails the complete build uh, will fail and it just exists from there post build actions actions are, are the one where you configure a step which is executed irrespective of whether your uh, build steps have passed or failed so post build actions are very useful when you have a task to clean up the clean up your code clean up your uh, 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 build environment or maybe uh, upload your unit testing reports or uh, code quality reports anything that you want to publish as part of your build steps can be put up here and and it could even include your email notifications steam notifications slack and details around that anything that you want to be executed irrespective of the build pass or a fail will go here so quickly let's look at how to configure the build uh, post build actions now again here you know i'm in uh, i've ended up in in the previous video we ended up selecting some tasks steps now in order to go to build action steps uh, right after your build steps you can add your action steps now here you will see uh, task related to publishing an artifact how to archiving an artifact publishing it to a centralized server or trigger another build uh, or you know configure uh, <coughs> configure your git uh, configurations or update your git settings and details around that so you could or, or even you can go ahead and clean up as i said clean up your workspace uh, after you go ahead and uh, build this success or a failure now, so this is where you can use these are these are the steps you can again have multiple steps and uh, and you know use the steps to ensure that your build outputs are published artifact reports are generated and and accessible to the team